Hey guys, Rob here with McDojo Life. In today's McDojo news, we're going to talk about how an Aurora martial arts instructor was sentenced to 50 years for filming his martial arts students in changing rooms. Let's check out the story. A 30-year-old Taekwondo instructor was sentenced recently to five decades behind bars after several of his victims discovered he was secretly recording them. When reports of his behavior were made to police in 2021, detectives executed a search warrant at Eric Chen's home and found hundreds of thousands of images of child pornography stored on his electronic devices according to a press release from the 18th Judicial District Attorney's Office. Chen was ordered Friday to serve 50 years in the Colorado Department of Corrections by a Douglas County judge. He will also be required to register as a sex offender once he is released. Eric Chen worked as a Taekwondo instructor at Han Lee's Taekwondo Academy in Aurora when the first report of errant behavior was made back in February of 2021. Han Lee had employed Chen for a decade and was completely unaware of his employees' horrifying activities. He described the discovery as, quote, completely devastating and reiterated his commitment to protecting his students, expressing his intentions to provide a safe learning environment for children. A father told investigators that his two daughters found Chen's cell phone recording them while they were changing clothes in the Lone Tree Recreation Center's changing room. The victim said they deleted the videos from the phone. Aurora Police Department investigators were unable to arrest Chen at that time, partially due to a lack of evidence per prosecutors. That incident happened in 2020. That led to other claims of illicit recordings of children at the Taekwondo Academy's Aurora and Lone Tree locations during summer camps. The revelation has left the community in shock and dismay. One of the victims reported noticing the phone hanging out of the side of Chen's backpack and went to turn it around out of caution, said a press release and found it was recording. Subsequently, it was revealed that Chen had been leaving his backpack in changing rooms and bathrooms during summer camps, placing a recording cell phone inside, as disclosed in the district attorney's release. Authorities seized computers, DVDs, CDs, and a trove of pictures of children between the ages of 8 and 12 from Chen's home in August of 2021. Approximately 200,000 images, as well as over 1,000 videos containing child sexual abuse material, some obtained online, and others self-recorded were discovered. Among the pornographic material seized from his home were more than a half dozen videos which investigators determined were recorded in local bathrooms and locker rooms where both boys and girls were changing clothes. Chen, in fact, was seen in some of the videos setting up the phone to record, according to a press release. The community has rallied behind the victims and expressed gratitude for their courage to speak out. I'm proud of these victims for having the courage to speak up and tell a trusted adult about what happened, District Attorney John Kellner said. By coming forward, these young girls likely saved many others from being victimized by this defendant. Our families should feel safer knowing he will no longer be around our children for a very long time. Chen faced numerous charges, including producing and possessing sexually explicit materials of children, unlawful sexual contact, enticement of a child, criminal attempts at enticement, and invasion of privacy for sexual gratification. He pleaded guilty to three counts of sexual exploitation of a child, a class three felony in March. Upon his release after his 50 year sentence, Chen will be registered as a sex offender for life, ensuring that he will no longer possess a threat to children. Let's unpack that. Apparently back in 2020, this Taekwondo instructor, Eric Chen, had been kind of caught already, but because there wasn't enough evidence, he was able to continue. 200,000 images, over a thousand videos this guy had when he did get caught, and it all seemed to follow the same MO. He takes his bag, he leaves it inside of a locker room of some kind, and he leaves his cell phone recording whatever happens. I've done so many of these stories, and it's very rare to feel like justice has really been served. But in this case, this guy got 50 years, and I say good. If this guy's in his 20s, he's not getting out until he's at least 70. And that's going to be a long time from now. When he does get out of prison, he's going to have to register as a sex offender for life. And yes, sometimes people do not have to register as a sex offender for their entire life, just a small stint. But this time, this guy got his full sentence, 50 years and a registered sex offender forever. Strangely enough, this is not the first story that I've covered that has this exact same issue. Another story I covered a few years back 
was about a martial arts instructor who went online and purchased a picture frame that also was a recording device and he put like pictures of Bruce Lee inside of them and he hung them up inside the bathroom at his martial arts school. Luckily enough, there was a diligent student who noticed that, confronted him about it, and then he got caught. This brings us to the question of the day. Does the bathroom at your martial arts studio have stuff just kind of strewn about? Are there shelves where people put their stuff on? Is there picture frames hanging up on the wall? If so, have you checked it? If the answer is yes, have you ever taken the time to kind of check it? I would suggest you do. But let's stick with just the question of the day for now. Does your martial arts studio have stuff stored inside the bathroom or changing room? Be sure to answer that question in the comment sections below so that way I know that you watched the entire video. As always, thank you all for the likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and memberships. Keep the martial arts legit. Since my baby joined that dojo